Gigamon flow mapping permits all traffic in, applies filtering rules, and then sends matching traffic to one or more egress ports. Since all traffic is permitted in, all packets are evaluated for matches to the mapping rules. Matching is done at each ingress port, so there is no congestion no matter how much traffic flows through the map. Filtering is performed in hardware, so there is no packet processing bottleneck. The only risk of oversubscription is a user configuration where more traffic is directed to an egress port than the port is capable of forwarding. An example of such a user configuration would be when traffic is explicitly sent from multiple ports to a single port, instead of sending that traffic to a load-sharing tool group or a higher bandwidth tool. Flow mapping overcomes the ingress port filter limitations, but there are times when using egress filtering together with flow mapping can provide value. For example, if all web traffic is forwarded to several web tools, then an egress filter can be used to limit web traffic for one of those tools to a specific IP address because the users of that tool only care about that web server. Any ingress traffic that is not matched by a filter rule is available from a collector, the logical else rule. If the collector is not assigned to a tool port, then the traffic is discarded. However, security is often very interested in this unmatched or unexpected traffic.